welcome back folks to another relaxed session of mathematics. As per request, I shall be doing proportionality theorem because I was requested to do this question. Someone who sent it said to me, it is really difficult for me. Now, I want to show everyone that Yes, it might look difficult, but it is very easy and friendly. Now, remember what I said about Euclidean geometry. I said know and understand your theorems very well. You will never have problems. Let's go through it, folks. It says in the diagram, Triangle ABC. Let's go there. Triangle ABC with points D and F. There's point D and F and point E. There's point. Sorry, I did not read something here. Let's go back to it again. In the diagram. Triangle ABC, triangle ABC with points D and F, points D and F on BC. They lie on this line, that's beautiful. And E, a point on AC, there's E on AC, such that. EF is parallel to AD. Now, once they tell you that, you should go and mark them. They said EF. There's EF. Let's mark it. It is said to be parallel to AD. There we have marked them parallel. I just want to write it so that it is clear. They have been marked parallel. And we continue, and it says, and DE is parallel to BA. Now, remember that you have marked those ones with one, one arrow. Now, to differentiate, we should now use two to say this is not parallel to that, but this is parallel to that. Further, it is given that AE, AE, I'm going to do that, divided by EC is 5 divided by 4. Now let's make this 5x divided by 4x. Now, why am I putting x and x there? Remember now, this is an equivalent fraction. It was not originally 5 divided by 4. It was the length of a site in units divided by the length of that particular other site in units. And it was simplified now to say 5 times x and 4 times x we are saying whatever that this was we are bringing it back okay folks i hope that you understand that now to the questions calculate giving raisins that's very important the length of fc now we want to calculate the length of that side and we should give a reason what is our reason our reason is going to be the theorem that we know about this what is that particular theorem let's go through the question then i am looking at triangle now i've got fc there i want a triangle that has got three things that i know don't forget that they told us that df from here to there it is now 20 
units. That is the distance or the length of that. I want a triangle that has got most information and what I want. If you look at these folks, look at triangle ADC. I'm going to say the triangle ADC. What can I see in that triangle? Can you see that AD is parallel to EF? Now, remember the theorem states that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, that line divides the other two sides in the same proportion. You can take any proportionality, it would be correct now, because here yeah, I'm looking for FC. I am going to say FC divided by, I'm going to divide it by FD is equals to, remember I said FC, now I must say EC, EC divided by, I said FD, I'm going to say EA. What is my reason for that? It was said they give reasons. My reason is proportionality theorem. Where EF is parallel to AD. Now, this was three marks. Definitely sure that I must get a mark there, and I must also get a mark there for statement and my correct reason. I'm working for three marks. Now, I'm making what I'm looking for, the subject of the formula. I'm manipulating this equation. I am looking for FC. That means now it would be FD multiplied by EC divided by EA. Then I substitute. That says to me FC is equal to, let's see, FD is said to be 20 units. Don't forget that. 20 units multiplied by, I'm looking for EC, EC is 4x, 4x divided by 5x. Now, x and x will cancel. Now, I divide 20 by 5, I get 4. I multiply 4 by 4, I get 16 units. What does this mean now? Before that, let's get our beautiful mark. What does this mean? It means that from here to there, that is 16 units. Beautiful, folks. I hope that you understood what I did there. Because of the theorem that says a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, that side is this and that line is that, divides the other two sides in the same proportion. That is why you see that proportionality and that particular reason. Therefore, I simplified and calculated what they wanted. The next one is saying, I must calculate giving reasons again, the length of BD. Let's push it a bit upwards there so that we have space. I now want the length of BD. 
I look at where BD is. BD is there. Now, I want a triangle that has got three things that I know and one that I'm looking for. Let's look at triangle A, B, C now. I'm going to write the triangle A, B, C. Remember the first one we used triangle A, B, C. In triangle A, B, C, what can I see? B, D, which is what I'm looking for. I'm going to divide it by, there's B, D. I'm dividing it by DC because I know DC. This is exactly the same as AE divided by EC. Remember the reason. My reason again is going to be Proportionality theorem. Way now in this one, you look at the side which I'm looking for, it is BD. There's that line drawn parallel to that. That is why I'm going to say proportionality theorem, where ED is parallel to. A, B. Beautiful. This one was four marks. That means that Father Christmas is so early in June getting four marks for that. Then I now make B, D the subject of the formula and substitute. Remember, I'm going to multiply this by that. And D, C is 20 units plus 16 units, which is equals to 36 units. Multiplied by AE is 5X divided by EC, which is 4X. Now, I simplify that. X will cancel x there. Now, how many falls are in 36? I have nine falls in 36. Nine multiplied by five is going to be 45 units. I have answered the question. This means that from here to there, the length is 45 units. And we get our four marks. We move on to the next one. Let me just do this step before it create problems for us. They now say, determine the area of triangle ECF divided by area of triangle ABC. That is going to be the ratio, surely. I'm determining this ratio. That is why I'm going to say this ratio is equal to or let's say it implies now and i just want to talk about this a bit before i do friends when you get this question you must be very happy because that question is actually centered around two concepts which I'm going to quickly demonstrate. Concept number one is common angle between two triangles. 
once you see that, you think of a common angle in two triangles, this triangle and that triangle. Concept number two, if you don't get a common angle, look for same height. Now, same height means that there is going to be a common vertex for the two triangles where you are going to measure the height from. Let's make an example. Now, if I say to you, what is the ratio of area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle ADC? I said triangle AB, let, let's say triangle ABD to avoid this one. Triangle ABD divided by the area of triangle ADC. Now, can you see that you don't have an angle which is common to both triangles, but there's a common vertex there, meaning that I can measure the height of these two triangles from that point and say the base would either be this one for triangle ABD or the base would be DC for triangle ADC. Now, that is where I use this one. When do I use this one? Both triangles must share a common angle. Let's look for that in what they have asked us. They say triangle ECF, this area of triangle ECF, I'm now looking for ECF, triangle ECF. I'm just going to mark that N, hoping that it would be common to both of them. Now, divided by triangle, area of triangle ABC. Let's look at that triangle ABC. Voila, voila. These two triangles are sharing a common angle, which is angle C. Now, in that case, what do I do? When they share a common angle, I just take the two sides that I including an angle. I multiply them and I multiply them by half. In this one, I'm going to say, for area of triangle ECF, I have got half multiplied by the sides that are including the angle. Half EC multiplied by FC. Beautiful. Multiplied by now sign of the included N. Remember, this is sign root now. Not sorry, not sign root. Area rule for two Ds and three Ds. I'm sorry about that, folks. You see, when mathematics is this beautiful, I just get drunk by mathematics, the beauty of mathematics. Now, let's divide this by area of triangle ABC. I am going to again use area rule. Area of triangle ABC. The common angle is there. I'm going to take AC now. There's AC there. Multiplied by BC there. 
there's BC there multiplied by sine of C. Now, because we are multiplying and dividing, we can cancel the same. This is exactly the same as that. Remember, the angle is common, meaning that this is equal. Now, we are left with there. We are left with EC multiplied by FC. Who is EC? EC is 4X. That means I'm left with 4X multiplied by FC, which is 16 units divided by divided by AC. AC is 5x plus 4x, which is 9x, folks, multiplied by BC. There's BC there. It would be 20 plus 45, which is 65. 65 plus 16, let's quickly do that there. 65 plus 16, surely it would be 11, then it would be 7, that is 81. 81. Now, we simplify that. X would cancel X. Now, we shall be having. 4 multiplied by 16 divided by 9 multiplied by 81. We just simplify that and get our answer. Now, unfortunately here, I don't have my machine to simplify this, but now simplifying this, you, you are just going to take this 4 times 16, you get the answer. 9 times 81, you get the answer. You divide the 2, you get the ratio. That is how we get to the answer. What I want to stress is, remember that when they ask this question, folks, you look for those two things. One, common angle. If you don't have a common angle, look for same height. That means you are having a common vertex for two triangles. In this case, we had number one. Folks, I want to repeat this again. If you learn your theorems and understand them, you will just get Free marks like we did here, you just look at this one, one, then you substitute there, you get one mark. You simplify your answer, you get one mark. You've got four marks. How many marks did, did you get? It is four plus four, which is eight, 11 marks, free of charge. Please, folks, learn your theorems, understand them, be able to prove them, be able to apply them. Thank you very much. Go to our channel, like it, leave a positive comment. Don't forget to share it with friends so that you don't pass alone. We pass together. Remember, your struggle is not your struggle. It is my struggle. Remember, your achievement is my achievement. I love you very much. Thank you very much, folks.